everyone. I'm Teacher Scott. Welcome to Global Day. Hi, I'm Angel. Hello, Luba. Hello, Teacher Scott. Oh, Lubo, nice to see you again. Lubo, I almost can't recognize you. Why are you wearing a Hulk mask? <laughs> Because I know today we're talking about famous Taiwanese people, and Andy, a very famous movie director, is one of them. Hulk is a character in his movie. Oh, today is Hulk. 绿巨人浩克正是李恩导演的电影呢。Yes, that's right. Our topic today is famous people from Taiwan. Shall we get started? Okay, I can't wait to learn about them. Our first famous person is Ang Lee. Have you heard of Ang Lee before, Teacher Scott? Of course, Ang Lee is a very famous movie director. He has won many awards around the world for his work. Yes, I know a Lee Ann director's secret. Believe it or not, he was a teenager, but he became a famous director for his work. Next, we have Wei Yingchen. Wei Yingchen is a pitcher in the MLB. He has played in Japan and now plays in the United States. Oh yes, he has won many awards in the MLB. He has played in Japan and now plays in the United States. Oh yes, he has won many awards in the MLB. He has played in Japan and now plays in the United States. Oh yes, he has won many awards in the MLB. He has played in Japan and now plays in the United States. Also, I know he gives a lot of his money to charities here in Taiwan. Wow, what a kind person! I love him. Jimmy, here's a short video for Wei Yingchen. Job gets the runner moved up to third. That's what he's trying to do. A drag bunt. He's got a chance. Chen with a foot and a glove. What a play! Our next famous person is another athlete. This is Jeremy Lin. He is a basketball player. Insanity, Lin Lifeong. That's right. When Jeremy Lin became a star in New York, the term insanity started to be used by journalists. You take his family name Lin and combine it with insanity, and you get Lin Sanity. I guess it refers to how popular he became so quickly. Insanity is Lin. This is called insanity. 风靡热潮这个字而来的，所以“林三的体”这个字就叫“林来风”，是因为林书豪而有的新字呢。Here's a short video clip of Jeremy Lin. Four, win for the win, got it. What a great game, Jeremy Lin! 这场比赛。太酷了 ！By the way, believe it or not, he graduated from Harvard University. 那可是美国最顶尖的大学呢。Our next famous person is Jason Wu. He is a fas famous fashion designer. And I see here he designed dresses for First Lady Michelle Obama. Yes, he did. Jason Wu is because he designed the American President. 奥巴马夫人在总统就职典礼时穿的礼服而声名大噪的。Next, we have our new president, In Wen Tai. She is our first female president. Yes, believe it or not, 不久前她还被美国《Time》杂志选为二零一六最有影响力的百大人物之一呢。And I see she is a cat lover. I love cats too. 猫捉老鼠，猫捉老鼠，赶快跑，赶快跑，不然会被抓到，不然会被抓到，会求救，会求救。Luba, please. Next, next one is Per Bao Chen Wu. He's now from being a world class baker. Yes, Wu Bao Chen 炫耀台湾当地食材来做面包。他的酒酿桂圆、荔枝玫瑰面包都很有名。Oh, I want to eat. That bread looks delicious. Okay, who do we have next? Well, this is Su Juchen. Okay, what is she famous for? I guess you can you could say she's famous for her generosity. She is vegetable seller and has donated so much money to various charities. 
Interesting. I see she was listed by Time Magazine as one of the 100 most influential people in the year 2010. Mm, yes, Here's another famous Taiwanese person, Jay Chu. He's a singer, songwriter, and an actor. That's right. He sold millions of albums worldwide. Believe it or not, Zhou Jielun's songs are Finally, we have our last famous person. She's also a singer. Her name is Ame. I see she was born in Taidong and has Aboriginal heritage. Yes, What I also read about her is that she has eight siblings. She is the seventh oldest child in a family of nine children. Wow, what's a big family? I didn't know that. I heard there's a video of Ame performing with J2. I can't wait to watch. Okay, let's watch the video later. Well, I guess that's all for today. We hope you enjoy learning more about some famous people from Taiwan. Yeah. Goodbye, Bye. everyone. Bye. See you next time. Bye. I got 100 points in my test. Really? I can't believe it. Good job. Mom, believe it or not, Lubo will come to our class tomorrow. Really? I love to see it too. Hello, everyone. You are learning English every time. Believe it or not, 中文是信不信由你剧中的第一个小朋友跟妈妈说他的英语考试考了一百分不过这个小朋友平时英文可能不太好所以考一百分好像是不太可能发生的事情所以他就说了一句 Believe it or not 第二个小朋友跟妈妈说的是如果明天要到他们班上去 Lubo可是个大明星啊，要到班上，这件事情好像也不太可能会发生，但是确实是发生了，所以他也用了一句Believe or not。所以这句话使用的时机就是，当有一件事情听起来不太可能会发生，但事实上却发生了。
，你就可以用 believe it or not。现在就请小朋友跟我一起念哦。Believe or not. Believe or not. Believe or not. Believe or not. 好，小朋友记得，下次可以使用这句话的实际就是有一件事情很特别，不太可能发生，却发生了，你就可以用这句话。好，今天我们的每周一句说明就到这里结束喽。See you next time. Bye bye. bye.